This is a chunk of what I read during my PhD. Reading and understanding research papers can be daunting. As a student, we have limited time, but a lot of reading to do with topics, not only in your field, but also expanding to a wide range. And let's be honest, we all get brain dead after some hours of continuous scientific reading. So today I'm introducing you to an AI tool that will be your guide when you're reading scientific papers. Copilot. Copilot is an AI powered feature within SciSpace and it helps you with your literature review. It summarizes a text, it can explain a text, it can explain figures, equations, unfamiliar acronyms, and even tables. In addition, it can even answer a follow-up question. On top, there are some prepared questions by this tool that will help you write your own research paper with your literature review section. When I discovered this tool, I was amazed and I would like to call this as your assistant to fluid intelligence. So let's dive deep into this tool and let's have fun with some research papers. You start by going to typeset.io and you will land at SciSpace. A combination of words science and workspace, SciSpace is a platform offering researchers with reading, writing, and improving research visibility. They have more than 270 million papers, 100,000 journal templates to help with formatting. SciSpace features also include plagiarism detection, automating referencing, PDF downloads, getting article suggestions, and a lot more. And Copilot is one of the features within SciSpace. So let me get to my screen and show you some hands-on experience of Copilot. You start by signing up, you register, and then you have your own account. And you can see here, this is the space. You have some papers to read. You have suggested information like the most read journals and some what's trending, conferences, and so forth. Here you can discover some research papers, authors. If you have a specific topic, you can filter and search based on the topic, journals, conferences, and so on. Now let's get started with the Copilot. And what we'll do is we'll use the Copilot library to search for any random paper. So let's go ahead and choose a topic that I personally really like, and that is climate change. All right, let's search. All right, we have found more than 85,000 results just for climate change. But the best part I like here is that you have quite a lot of filters that you can use and apply and then get your desired results. So for example, we have a PDF or an open access option. Usually you should start with an open access option because it's free and your full, full article will be available to you unless your university is able to provide you with the details of logging into a paid versions. So let's click open access here and you would automatically see that the results will change. Now we have around 50,000 results. The other options are year. So you want to have information from last year, last three years, so on and so forth. And then you can customize if you want a specific year. So let's just go ahead with last three years, apply. And the other options that we can get into are the types. So if you want a book chapter, you want dissertation, you want a conference proceeding or an article and so on. You have options for selecting a specific author. You also have options for an institution and if you want to further filter your topics, for example, within climate change, if I just want to talk about global warming or mitigation and models, I can just filter my research accordingly. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and use one filter, which was the year. And we have 4,000 results. So we are now going to go ahead and see which one to go for. So let's go ahead with this journal article. You will click here and it will open up here and you can see that First, what you get is an abstract. On the left side, you have the paper, you have the publication there for you. And on the right side, you have the Copilot Assistant ready for you to help. Supposedly reading the article, let's say we don't understand anything. So if we highlight this, I'm gonna highlight till here, and that's it. You see on the left side, automatically your highlighted portion has been detected by Copilot and it will explain it for you. Now. The good part is, let's say when you have read the explanation and you have a follow-up question, you can ask a follow-up question and you can write your follow-up question here. So this is the space for your follow-up 
question. And as I explained before, there are other prepared questions that you can ask AI. For example, one of the big ones is what are the key takeaways and how is this research unique? So when you click this, you will get an answer about this particular paper being unique or how will it stand out? And this particular question is important because when you are doing your literature review and writing it for your original paper, you need to know why the particular paper was important and relevant to your current research. Now let's continue and I want to show you one more feature. Like I said, this tool also explains figures. Let's take California autumn trends. Let's take the first one. I'm going to highlight that and there we go. We have here the whole explanation and you can see how this tool has picked that this is a climate model simulation because that that's what it is and then it's further explaining what the author would be suggesting using this figure and it's mind-blowing this tool is also going to help you with acronyms let me go ahead and highlight this one fwi and then it will automatically go on the right side and there you go fyi stands for fire weather index and then not only it's giving you what it stands for it's also explaining you what it means which is pretty amazing another good part is that all the conversation between you and the co-pilot will be saved so you will not lose any information or any explanation that co-pilot has given you if you have your own library prepared and you want to get some articles summarized and understand some portions of those articles you can upload the pdf so this is the option where you click upload pdf and you can create your own folder so mostly when we are working on our master's thesis or PhD dissertation, we do not just focus on one single topic. There are quite a lot of integrated topics that we work on. The good part I liked here is within your size space library, you can have multiple folders and those are called collections. So if I want my first collection as climate change, I create that here. I can have my second collection as agriculture impacts create here and then I'm going to create my library and then have all the articles within that. This is integrated with Zotero so you can import your literature review from Zotero or you can upload a PDF file that you already have in your system. The founders of this product are continuously working and reviewing all the feedback and trying to improve this product as much as they can. Let me show you a couple of more features. So let's say we go on and click on an article that we like. What I want you to see is this option explain math and table let's select a table here and there we go just by clicking this just by highlighting the table copilot is going to explain me what it's in the table and there you go if you like the explanation feel free to give a feedback and you can ask a follow-up question what is the percentage of habitat loss in Africa this follow-up question was a very vague one, but you can see even with this vagueness, it has given me some answer and it has told me at least that the percentage area is 17 for Africa, which is how much, and then have done some of the explanation here. So let's say you like the paper, you understood the paper and you want to share it and cite it. Go on to the top and here you have the option to share and you have the options to share it on social media, including Facebook, Twitter, and so on. You can email it to your colleague or you can just copy a link and then spread the link throughout. The other option of citing is here as well. And the citing options, you can see the APA system is there. You have Howard, Chicago and whichever formatting is done for you. All you have to do is copy the text. When it's copied, you can put it to your own document. One last feature to share is trace. You click here. And what it's doing is it's going to trace this paper and then show you information related to this paper. So you can see there are 20 related papers. There is citation amount, how much citation has been done. You can see the references. There were 32 references here. So I say this tool is giving you further opportunity to connect. If I were you, I would look at my topic and then trace it and then find the authors who are also working on it. I will contact them and I will show them my work. I will ask them for further information from their work. And this will go on and become a very great network for you. I'm going to continue playing more with Copilot AI. Meanwhile, go ahead and sign up and see how this tool is going to help you with your studies. Thank you.